Daddy's dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's dungeon? Daddy's dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> I am ready though. I should listen to it after. Hey, yeah. you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh yeah. I was looking with a three, two, one. What's going on? Yeah. Okay. yeah it feels. It feels right. We'll get it. <laughs> so we'll get a three, two, one. We haven't done one in a minute. Hot minute. <clears throat> it's right, been a cool minute. You ready? All right. Three, three, two, one. All right, everyone. Welcome back, Daddy's Dungeon. Um. 105 105 we're back in the dungeon on a sunday because we've had some that we me <laughs> i just i wasn't feeling it wasn't feeling it shit happens yeah shit happens i just want you to know dude that vince's fucked me up it did, fucked me up it? bad i've been fucked up all week Hey, dude, you know what? I, I just want to attribute to that and also say that it, I have been fucked up, but I have been shitting fabulously. My yeah, shits have been coming out. Like, they just pulled the lever all the way down on the soft survive yes, stream. Yes, that's what's happening buffet. to me. It's, it, that's not, it's not healthy. Yes, I love it. It's not healthy. It just comes out. It's perfect. It's, uh, it's, you know what, though? It's I too just, soft. I just don't like how there's... There's too much cleanup after after it's done. There's too much. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm, I'm not digging that too much. There could be a little less of that. But yeah, so feels pretty uh, cool. Everything I eat just coming right out of me, brother. You got like, it, well, you got like a bug or something? Is that Probably. like? Probably. But has your stomach been hurting? Yeah, neither is mine. It hasn't been hurting, but when I got a shit, it's like, hey, bro, you gotta go take a shit. It, there's no like, eh, you can hold it for a while. It's like mm, you should go shit now. But isn't that good though? Isn't that good for you? That I'm shitting everything out? That, like, your body knows when to shit because there, there's some times in, in my life where... Yeah, constipation. There's some times in my life where I just go days where I'm like, oh, when? When's the last time I took a shit? <laughs> you know? I'm not, I really stop and think to myself, when's the last time I took a shit? And then I'm like, oh, crap. I think it's been a couple of days. Is that is that bad? You know? I'm sure sometimes it is pretty bad, but for the most part... I'm pretty regular. Like, uh, there's times where, like, it's bad. It, like, I'd be constipated, right? And the second I feel I'd have to shit, if I don't shit then, I won't shit at all. Uh-huh. I just know it. So, like, oh, I gotta hold it. And then it kind of just, like, passes, right? And when I get home to go shit, nothing. And it's like, fuck, did I should have shit when I knew I had to shit? Because now I can't shit. It's like you missed your scheduled appointment uh, time. Welcome back, everybody. Eddie's Dungeon, where <laughs> we talk about shit. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Standard um, operating procedure. It's literally like, yeah, you're right, an appointment time. And it's like And now you get fined twenty five dollars for missing your fucking appointment without calling. Yeah. And it's like it's like I'm the doctor, right? And you're ready for the appointment. <laughs> like, I'm ready like, to like when you like when you would go like to your physical therapy and they'd they'd be like an hour late and you're like, What's the point of me coming? Dude, yes. You know, that's I me. should find you fuckers. I don't know. I look here's my problem with that, right? Here's okay. my problem. I do not see I do not see why, if I cannot make it to an appointment on time, why do I get fined? When I am sitting in that waiting room. Over an hour. On. Early. Early. And at well past the scheduled appointment time. Yeah. Why do, the, why do they not get fined? Hey, they make the rules, brother. You're why? working on their time. That's what sucks. That's what sucks. You're right, though. You know when what? you complain. But what happened to, you know, the customer is always right. Or well, whatever. You're not a customer. It's a little different. I'm fucking paying. I get, you're kind of like a customer. I don't know. I'm a fucking customer. All right? You, if I tell you, ow, ow, it hurts that way, you're not going to go that way. Right? I'm a customer. You should be catering to me. Ah, well, that's past now. Yeah, that's fast now. I'm not fully... I mean... My body could be a little more limber. Two questions. Two questions. How is your knee? Knee's great. Okay. I mean... Inflammation as expected. Okay. Right? But intact and feeling good. And how's the ankle? Ankle... It's a little, it's a little rusty. It's a little bad. I took some Still. damage yesterday. Again. Yes, again. But it's okay. Did you wear your sleeves? 
I got a better one. Nice. I got a better one, but it's all right. It's you know I'm still holding it down, so it's okay. Give give me the rundown of of yesterday's uh, Rapid Fest. Rapid it's Fest Santa Barbara two was two. insane. Oh, it's the second year. Yes. Nice. And this is a legendary spot too. A bunch uh-huh. of bunch of crazy bands have been there in the past. This spot is legendary, actually. So, I want to say the set of the day was for sure Tarina. bare minimum. Oh, the, oh, they're dope. Undoubtedly. Yeah, they're awesome. Those guys from Oxar uh-huh. 805, the scene up there is crazy. They're holding it down. And then, obviously, Terrena. Those guys were crazy, too. But, were, they, were they playing new shit or old shit? Well, uh, they did play some new stuff. Yeah, that's what I was... Because I was looking at the videos, and I was like... What the fuck? Are, what are they singing? They did play some new stuff, but uh, also uh, a set that I really enjoyed was Affliction. Uh-huh. Right? So these guys, they're from Oxnard as well. Uh-huh. But when, I know you've seen them before. Not the, the band, but the kids. They, they're just kids. Yeah, I know. You I know, know you've seen them, They're high though. school kids. Yeah. It's fucking sick. I love I've it. seen them at Sound of Fury for the children. And, I saw them at the Midnight Hour. And they're dope, you know? All of them got style. You know, they all know fucking... They're sick. What do you mean style? Like mosh style? Yeah, they, yeah, the pit, they got style. That it, I love it, man. It's awesome. I love seeing it. I don't know if uh, if but he don't give a fuck, huh? He don't give a fuck to say his name. We can bleep it. Damn. Well, I just get like this video. I don't know if he sent you the same video. He's like, hey, when we started a band, fucker. Did he send you that? Uh, yes. And it's just him fucking screaming. I think so. And he freestyled that. That's pretty dope. He did send me a video. I did hear. He, I did hear the screaming. Yeah, he freestyled it. That's pretty dope. He's a front man. You're on drums. I'm on the bass. Just need a guitarist. Just need a guitarist. Be dope. Hey, there's so many out there. I know there is so many out there. Hit us up. Fucking IEHC baby, up on hardcore. <laughs> We'd be like the first up on hardcore band ever. No, nah, who knows? I, no, nah, I bet you there's way because way in the old, way old. Because Upland Skate Park, I would imagine. Oh, yeah, that's right. I would imagine there's a bunch, there's a bunch of little hot pockets that that come from that area, yeah. you know, with that with that place being there, especially back in the day with how hot of, of a place it was. Uh-huh. There's totally some bands that are probably you, coming. You know out that? Here. Uh, you know the Flowers Field Park, the one that's way up on 25th Street. Yes. And you know there's like that little uh, gated off like area. Have you ever been inside there? Is that little stone monument type yeah. thing? No, I've never been inside It was there. open on the park uh, this week, like on Monday. It's, every time I've been there, it's open. Oh, well, it's, yeah. a lot of times I go, it's not open. Really? Yeah. Dude, it turns out that was like a, a rail. What, what do you mean? Like a like a trolley rail. Okay. And they would take people from the bottom to the top of Euclid. Really? Dude, where is that at, dude? Yeah. yeah. That's banging. And it was like, um, that was a... Uh, and historic stop. It's a like a historic monument. It was freaking dope. See, see, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. A bunch of stizzy shit in there though. All over. Oh yeah. St- like like stizzy uh, like packs. Like everything. Pods and everything. Everything. But the thing is, if that rail were to be, it's a great idea. I love uh, the idea of it. Everyone would fucking ride it. Go go up to the mountain all the time. That's the point. Yes, yes, yes. That's awesome. Yeah, right? they took that shit down because they're stupid. But the thing is, I feel like before the mountain, I feel like there'd have to be a little bit. More of a hotter neighborhood within uh-huh. that area. Like yeah. up there, you just got the gas station, the firehouse. Yeah. Uh, maybe well, put there, a, dude, there's a there's like a Italian, restaurant or there's something. A, there's right an there. Italian restaurant right there. Really? I, I want to try it. Where at? By the so, gas station. So, um, if you go up San Antonio, it'll take you. Uh, I don't know if you when you go up to Mount Baldy, you know, there's like a there's like a you're coming in and then there's a stop sign like behind you to the right because cars come down that way hmm. well if you go up San Antonio it takes you that way and somewhere in that that roundabout there's an Italian restaurant right there really yeah and I guess like a lot of the cross country people at Upland would go there before big races and just carve up we gotta look it up on Yelp yeah we gotta look it up on Yelp and let me dude, ask you this let me ask you dude, this. I gotta send you that please am, let me ask you this uh-huh. am I an old person no for using Yelp am, fuck no is that some old person shit hell no I've been told before that some old person shit. By who? Your girlfriend? Haters. Wow, Ricky. Haters. That's all yeah, I'm gonna say. Well, Haters. I'll I'll believe that one out. You know, but <laughs> hey, dude, I'm a big fan of Yelp. I love that shit. Yeah, Yelp is cool, dude. Yelp is fucking awesome. I get all my aggression on Yelp. You know, 
I really get down and fucking Nitty ruin gritty. someone's day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, ruin someone's fucking That's awesome. Day. Oh, you fucking, uh, you taught out? You taught out on Yelp? Fucking Sabrina. Her <laughs> attitude. I wasn't liking it. I could never write a review on Yelp. No, I never do. I never. You always re- want to? Uh, yeah, I was fucking. No. I, I, you know what, though? I, the only time I ever want to uh-huh. is when I think it's a good idea to add something to the restaurant. For example, like the Zaxby's little Zigglers or whatever. The, what are they called? Oh, fuck yeah. The Wigglers? Yes. Oh, give me the Wigglers. You know, Kane does a suggestion box. And that's what I'm saying. You know, like, so my suggestion box would be the Yelp comment section. They would never look at it. I'm sure they would, dude. I think you need to start DMing them on all platforms. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. DM them and say, hey, bro, you got to steal their idea. Give me some Texas toast and put... I mean, they have that, but a big one. But you, you know just want what? a single... How about we just make this a direct shot to them right now? Right now? Canes. Go ahead. Canes. What you need to do, it will pop. Add a little mini sandwich. Put a tender. Put some sauce. And a little bread or toast. Little toast. Yep. And you're fucking solid. You, Make it a snack size. Perfect snack for size. the road. Perfect for the road. And like, you know, your kid's a little hungry. You want to give him a whole fucking three piece? Here you go, son. You got a hangry girlfriend? Even better. You guys, got a, you guys got a long she's trip good. to Orange County? You're going to go get some um um? But she's hangry now. This will hold her over. Yes. And you're happy. Yes. Everyone's happy. That's what we need. Yeah. It's for the people. Yes, sir. It's for the children. I need that shit. Yeah. Um. That's, it's such a great idea. Uh, when Why I saw it, I do it, and when I saw it, you you saw how I reacted. We need to see if there's any Zaxby's out here. Nah, there I ain't haven't none. even looked. There ain't none. Um, dude. So I, like I told you on uh, yesterday, I was alone <laughs> by myself. And I was fucking doom scrolling, dude. Hours. Love it. And I just kept getting like, you know, like those those videos that are happy and it you know fucking makes you choke up a little bit. Uh-huh. Oh, dude, I was getting those all fucking day, man. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. When you're watching those, do you ever shed a tear? Oh yeah. Yes. Really? Yes, dude. Which one gets you the mo- the hardest? So the the one the one that got me the hardest yesterday because there was a lot. I don't remember all of them, but I remember this one specifically. It's an old ass lady, right? Super old. And then there's a guy just, you know, packing away the produce at the grocery store. He's a worker. He's stocking the shelf, right? She pulls a little fucking water gun on him. And she's, like, walking close. And he goes, <laughs> pulls out two bananas. Uh, and I guess it's, like, a tradition that whenever she comes, they fucking do a standoff with each other. So every time uh, she would have, like, a gun, he'd do a banana. But then one day, it just kept showing him, right? She pulls a gun on him. And he has his cart, right? Pulls out this goddamn giant fucking water gun. Like, F, like huge. And it was, it, I don't know. It just brought a tear to my eye. That got you, yeah. huh? What What about it? What What about it? It's so... How did you feel in that? It's so wholesome. And it's like, it's, it's just, it was just awesome. Man, I wish I would have saved it. It was cool. So wholesome, huh? It's just wholesome. It's just like, damn, this old lady. She's probably the last... Last person alive in her family or no one really goes to visit her, you know? And this guy fucking makes her day. Makes her week. You think that... You think she's looking forward to that every week, huh? Oh, yeah. I bet you the guy is, too. I bet. That's yeah. awesome, dude. Yeah, there was other ones where it was like, oh, yeah, she uh, she paid my rent so I could be a doctor. And yeah. And everyone's like, oh, you need to repay her. And the guy was like, wasn't me becoming a doctor, like, repaying her? Because that, that's what I promised her. That I was gonna do And he's like Of course I fucking Buy her shit And if that was her wish He fulfilled it But I don't know If they were like Related somehow Cause he was super dark black And she was very Very old white So I don't know If she was like If she just like Met him one day And like Damn you're a nice guy I'm gonna pay your rent This month And then she's like Oh what are you trying to do He's like oh, I'm trying to be a doctor Okay I'm gonna pay your rent for Forever until you become a doctor And he, he repaid her It was cool So you like seeing Videos no, I don't like seeing videos like that because it makes me, other it, it gets me happy sad. It's good though. I, I don't mean, like it. It, it, it. It's it's it's. Yeah, I'm sure it's better than the car accidents, right? Oh yeah, you know what? See, now that you mentioned, I'm gonna get nothing but car accidents today. But I haven't got a car accident in a while, so that's good. That is good. That's good. But it's crazy that you mentioned it too, <clears throat> because I recently had a situation where I went to um, <clears throat> I went to Bonds. 
What was I looking for? I was looking for snacks before the trip. Oh, right? yeah. Uh-huh. And I went into Vaughn's. I buy a bunch of ice creams for the night, candy, usual stuff. Did you bring an ice chest? No. No, I'm sorry. It wasn't for the trip. That was just for... I bought some ice cream for that night. Uh-huh. And then for... For the trip. For, for later gotcha. on, right? Gotcha. And on my way out, I just have a bunch of stuff. I'm no just, bag. No bag. I said, fuck the bag. I'm not buying a bag. I'm just carrying all this shit. Everything's damn near fallen, right? Uh-huh. And I see, I see this lady, like, in the, my peripherals. Like, way far away. And I'm almost in my car, and all I hear is, oh, excuse me, honey. Right? So I'm like, oh, what? What's up? So I just turn around, and I'm like, almost fucking... Fall. Yeah. All this shit's almost fallen. And she she asked me, she's like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry to, to stop you. Right? But I need help. She, she needed help because she, she told her kid that she would give her uh, kid a movie night. Uh-huh. But she couldn't pay for it. Oh, uh, okay. So she needed help buying snacks. This is an older lady. This is like she's mid, mid like mid forties. Uh huh. Forties, mid forties, and so me and her, we went inside. Wow. And I, I told her, I told her, I was like, I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm in a rush right now, but we can go in, grab some essentials real quick, and get it. whatever you need for 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 a movie night. And at first. I was thinking to myself, like, the bad part of my brain was thinking, she's probably not going to get typical movie night snacks. Uh-huh. And she's going to get, like, See, cause, other type of stuff. Because, like, when you're looking at a bagger, right? At a what? Just, like, at a bagger. I'm not calling her, like, a okay. person, But, yeah, yeah. you know, like, oh, can I get some gas? I get this, this, and that. This request, it's, like, so weird that it's, it doesn't it, seem fake. It's oddly specific. Yes. You know, it's uh-huh. too specific. Yeah. To be movie night for yes, snacks, like movie night. Yeah. And so, um, when when we went in, the first thing that she started getting was cookies, milk, and I said, "This is for some fucking kids. I love it. This is for them." Uh-huh. And so, this is for sure a movie night. And I told her, "Get whatever you need. Don't worry about it. We got pizzas. We got frozen pizzas. We got drinks, candies, candy chips." Soda. Coke Zero. No, I. She, she got. Wrong game. She, she got squirt. <laughs> she got squirt and Pepsi. Right. You know some all right That's, choices. A little mm, questionable. Squirt. But mm. it's for them, not me. But, dude. As soon as I heard movie night for kids, I said I'm in. Let's fucking do it. Uh-huh. Cause I instantly thought of my nephews. Instantly, yeah. I thought of my nephews. Are you going to do that with them? Huh. Don't you think it's a good idea? What? Movie night? For my nephews? Yeah. N- no, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought of my nephews and, 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 and my sister, you know? Like, uh-huh. if she ever wanted to spend that genuine time with them uh-huh. and was not able to because of something like that, I would want someone to help her out. Uh-huh. Or, you know, obviously that'd be available to her. But... What, what was that? What was the after? The after, like... The after? Um, after you bought it. After I bought it, uh, she she wanted to give me her number. She said, oh, I'll go ahead and pay you back. Give me your number. I'll find a way to pay you back. And then I told her, don't worry about paying me back. Just remember this moment and pay it forward. Uh-huh. That's it. Did you have a tear in your eye? I did not have a tear in my eye. After? I just gave her a little side hug. I said, I hope you have a great movie night. Uh-huh. And that's it. I hope she's doing all right. What'd she look like? Her name was... I'm not going to say her name, actually. <laughs> actually, actually we'll I shouldn't even describe what she looks like. I'm not even going to do it. Not even going to do it. You can do it after. I'm not even going to do it. Can I hear it after? I'll tell you after. Okay, thanks. Yes. Appreciate it. Yeah. She was, I, was she this was, yesterday? No, this was... Um, Friday. I want to say... I want to say Friday, I believe. But she was, she was extremely nice, man. And it... Um, it felt good. It felt... No, it 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 broke it broke my heart that she wasn't able to. Yeah, but it's okay. She wasn't able to find. It's okay, you helped you know, her. I hope she had a great movie night. She was saying she was gonna watch Forrest Gump. Oh yeah, they had a great movie night. Dude, okay, think about the kids, bro. What, you got fucking pizza and an ice cream. Did you get ice cream? Uh, I don't think she Just got. Just cookies ice cream. and milk. Yeah, I I, I Mom, told you her. You got cookies and candy. 
and they're just fucking you know lighting it up she was pretty specific on the things she got too so it seemed like she already knew the, the what they wanted the flavors that they like that's good you know yeah so because if she was just getting a bunch of generic stuff like vanilla ice cream and uh-huh. pepperoni pizza you know i feel like yeah she knew exactly what she was going for i uh I didn't have a similar experience like for paying for the dude or anything but yesterday i went to go get tacos right i was by myself and i uh i was like you know i want some fucking i want a burrito i want it bad and i was like should i get my dad something too so i go i'm the only person there and i get a i get a buche burrito and then i got my dad a pastor and then i was like he's like hey what is that and i don't know what he's like oh well, i don't know what it is and he's like and he's he's pretty white and i was like oh this is my favorite shit right here my favorite shit right here. He was like, "Oh, can you order me that?" And I fucking order for this old man. No oh, And then yeah. I left, and I'm like, "Sure, have a good day." He's like, "Hey, it was really nice meeting you. Have a great week, okay?" And I was like, "Yes, sir." And I walked away. Heck yeah. Yeah. He, hey, old man wants some tacos, bro. I hope he liked them. I hope he loved them because those—that's amazing. Buche? Yeah, I love buche. Amazing. I love it. What is that? Um, I think it's a stomach, pig, pig stomach. cheek or is pig, pig stomach, cheek? something like that. It's one of the two. I think it's... I don't know, actually. I know Suadero and Buche. I always get them confused. You know what, though? I just want to say... Shout out to old people. Shout out fucking pigs, man. And I'm not talking about police. I'm talking about Haram. fucking hogs. Haram. I'm talking about hogs. <laughs> fucking bacon. Fucking pulled pork. Haram. Fucking Dude, we're in Ramadan, more. Dude, chill. I love all that shit. It is so <laughs> good, man. I just recently... My, my family has, is not a big bacon family uh-huh. you know growing up i didn't have bacon available to me as other families do you know what i'm saying uh-huh. so i recently on that bond trip i bought a pack of thick cut applewood smoked bacon beautiful Ugh. beautiful what'd you do with it breakfast sando breakfast burritos <laughs> before work did your mom make them yep they were the best. Potato eggs? Egg, cheese, bacon. bacon. Wow. Salsa. <laughs> no salsa, brother. Fucking raw dog. Raw dog that shit. It was so good. Oh, my oh God. Oh, God. Yeah. With with the mother's touch. Yes. Oh, you want to know what goes so fucking good with that? Oh, a little spicy mayo. Spicy crema. Spicy mayo, huh? Spicy crema. Huh. Same fucking thing, dude. Oh, man. That'd be so good. So fucking good. Aioli Wakandan green sauce. Who knows what that is? Brother, you just get some plain Greek yogurt. <laughs> put a little hot sauce on it. That There it is right there. Dude, Greek yogurt. With- plain Greek yogurt. You mix anything in it. No more sour cream. No more mayonnaise. Healthy as fuck. Protein. It's the best. And Greek yogurt with jalapenos. Lebanese food. Fire. Ever right. had it? No. Fire. Or is it Greek? I get them confused. I think it's Lebanese. Fire. I uh, I saw this video, right? And this girl, she would freeze jalapenos. And she would grade them on her pizza. So she'd get a bite of jalapeno in every fucking bite of her pizza. Wow. And she was like, look. But she's like, you have to freeze them or else it'll just fall apart. So this way, it's like jalapeno shavings across the whole pizza. It looked awesome. I feel like something you would like. And they're going to be like mini little snowflakes. Of, of fucking heat. Little mini snowflakes. Of just pure... Annihilation. Pure annihilation. Yeah. yeah. Um, but also on my doom scrolling, I uh, maybe it's a sign that I'm getting skits, but I don't know. I kept getting all these schizophrenia reels, and it's very cool to see what people do to see if the person talking is really there. What do you mean? So schizophrenia, they hear people talking, right? Yeah. Or they see people and hear them. So this guy has a dog. A dog, right? And he goes greet. There's no one there. The dog won't move. So he told the dog to greet like 20 times and he never fucking moved. That's how fucking good that dog is. But if the person's there, the dog will go greet. So the guy knows this dog is real. And if he doesn't greet the person, they're not real. And I, like, I'm having a schizophrenic episode. So let me ask you this. Do you think this dog, do you think this dog could potentially have a mental type of connection with that human? As far As far as like knowing, hey... This guy has some type of thing to where he needs my help. Yes. Really? Well, that's what that's what it's trained for. Oh, uh, that's crazy. That's how he knows when to greet and when not to. Because, like, imagine you just told your dog, 
greet, and then it just like hmm, walks away. Let me ask you this though, but do you think the dog genuinely knows? Hey, this guy is mentally ill. He needs my help. Or do you think the dog just thinks these are the commands I was given? I'm gonna do it. Commands given. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, dogs know when you're sad and stuff. Yeah, dude, absolutely. So, dogs, they do have a complex mind, although not as complex as a human mind. It I just don't know complex. if the dog can tell, like, hey, this guy has fucking uh, schizophrenia. Like, I don't know if the dog can tell that, if yeah. that makes any sense. Yeah, it's a little intense. That's a little much. But then the the other one I kept seeing commonly was that they would use their phone camera and, like, do it like that. And, like, oh, there's no one there. Oh, that's good, dude. Yeah. That, that's, a, that's a good idea. It's, that's scary, though. That is scary. Imagine the next thing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Make him fucking insidious on your phone. Oh dude. Fucking calluses are turned off. And and I did show you that audio, right? The, the... Of Meek Mill getting fucked. No. <laughs> <laughs> fuck no it, was, it was the it was the audio that um someone had made pretty much the closest representation of what it sounds like inside of somebody. Yes, dude, that was that. scary. But that was just that person's. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, dude, yeah, think about that while, you know, just living. maybe seeing things. Just living, dude, and you're just seeing things and you're hearing things. It's it's a, it's, it's terrifying. It's terrifying. It's insanely terrifying. I'm sure they, they don't get much sleep, you know? Yeah. yeah. I wonder, how, you know, I wonder, too, if those... uh. If those voices inside their heads, if they have kind of like a, a schedule as well, you know what I mean? Do they go to bed? Do they do they rise to uh -huh. go to work? Is their fucking grind nagging at these people, grinding at their brain? Is that their nine to five? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I bet, dude. Dude, it's just imagine hearing someone talking all fucking day. And I know that there's some people where it'll just like keep annoying the shit out of them. Yes. To where, I mean, at yeah. some point they'll start hitting themselves and stuff, you know? Yeah, and yeah it's, definitely a, it's definitely a grind. I'm wow. sure they get some sort of government help. I don't know. Crazy. I don't know. This is a petition to my father. Hi, Dad. Um, I want a dog. <laughs> I've been wanting a dog really bad. Really? You want a dog? Yeah. What kind of dog? I'm thinking like a lab. Aren't you allergic to dogs, bro? See, this is... Okay, this is what I think happened, okay? So when I was really young... I, and I remember it clearly that they wouldn't let me eat ice cream because I was lactose intolerant. Okay. And then one day I ate it and I didn't shit myself. And you know you can grow out of that. Right, right, right. I so understand. what I think happened was is that we had dogs my whole life. Just get fucked in the ass like by Meek <laughs> Miller or fucking my Diddy. Um, I had dogs my whole life, so I was used to it. And then there was a time for like five years, six years, I didn't have any dog. You know? No dog. <laughs> no dog. No dog. No dog. Um, <laughs> and I just think, I just like, hey, you're a little bit allergic. And it's, I'm not so allergic to where, like, I'll die, but I get a really itchy throat, and my eyes start to water, and I get itchy, and it's fucking annoying. But I feel like if I'm just around it enough, I'd get used to it. And they have those hypoallergenic dogs, which I don't fucking want. We'll bleep the name, but you know she has those type of dogs. Uh -huh. And yes. she breeds them. I have one of those dogs. Oh. Hypoallergenic dog. Can I can I keep it? Can I have it? No. No. Because they don't shed or anything, you know? No, well, I mean, they shed very, very little. Uh-huh. Like, very little. So, I'm thinking about, like, it's, it's a petition to my father. But a lab? that a lab, Labs are badass, dude. No, I'm thinking about, a, like, a chocolate lab. Chocolate lab. Yeah. Oh, wow. In my head, when I see dog, I see that. No German Shepherd. I no. feel like they're too, they're too much. Too hyper. Too hyper. Hey man, labs are hyper as fuck too, especially as puppies, man. Yeah. Ooh. Because I don't know, I just been wanting one. I just feel I, like it's, I feel like it's a good time. What kind of personality you want this dog to have? Chill, relax. You, know I mean? you just, you want this dog to be a big dog, just boom. I just want, I want this dog to be like, come here, boy. I don't want a girl dog. You want him, you want him to be a rug. I want him like, come here, boy, and then he just lays on me, and yeah. I just like, ah. it just feels nice. You know? And then we go outside and we play. That just seems so fun. That does seem so fun. You know? Because I've been playing outside with the baby a lot. And all oh, these fuckers right next door. God damn it. Why, why, why? So, so right now the baby's favorite thing, because we like playing soccer now. So we pass each other the ball. We throw the ball. She's really good at the, the throw-ins. Like fucking insanely good. I'm like, damn, where'd you get that power from? It's like a little scary. But she likes when I throw the ball on the garage roof. 
and it rolls down so she'll get real close to like where it would fall and then when she sees it she just starts running away and just laughs her ass off uh-huh. well, I threw it a little too hard and I rolled over the other side and I went into their yard and it's been about two weeks since I fucking haven't had a soccer ball and these fuckers are never here so every time I knock on the door no one's home you know what brother they're always gone you know what we used to do back in our day hop it hop that shit I know but they got cameras and shit and yeah, and clearly with those cameras, they will see, hey, big boy retrieval of soccer ball. I know, but I bet you the soccer ball's not back there anymore. I bet you they just said, oh, where did this come from? And they just took it inside. Now yeah. it's theirs. It's theirs now. Yeah, you're probably so right. So I had to buy a new fucking soccer ball. You're probably right. You're probably right. And if you got a new one, just forget about it. Forget know, about the other I know. one. It's long but gone. But the thing is, the one I bought is like a bouncy ball. It's not like a soccer ball. But I feel like it's better for her because she has a hard time kicking an actual soccer ball. It's a little too hard. A little too hard. Right. But uh, I feel like, dude, imagine you go outside. And I just sit, I just sit back, and in the little chair, and the baby and the dog are just fucking going ham. They both get tired out, and I just sit there and enjoy. I yep. feel like it's a win-win. It's a fucking trade-off. So, neat. <laughs> are you buying this dog for your enjoyment? Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. Or are you buying this dog to divert no. some of your? Uh, some of your, uh, how do you say? Um, Energy? No, 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 no. Responsibilities as far as playing with I mean, it's not, I mean, I like playing with her outside anyways, so I don't you really know. care. I just feel like... Because the dog's going to be fucking... I just feel like... Go crazy. Everyone would benefit from it. You know? Yeah, absolutely, dude. You know? Dog is a great, a great mm-hmm. connection to have as a kid. Mm-hmm. So I just feel like everyone would like it. Everyone would enjoy it. Especially the baby. It's like a win-win. Win-win. Win. Except, win. except, except, dogs are fucking expensive now, dude. How about this, dude? Have you ever considered um, getting one from the from that animal shelter? No. Why not? Because, so in the past, and it's my fault, um, I've been irresponsible with the dogs. Okay. Like the other dog we had. Okay. It's not mine, technically. Um, he was the runt. Of the of the puppy, the puppy litter. Okay. The person kept saying that they would train him, they would train him, so I just left him. You know. Never got trained. Now he's like a fucking hyper. Doesn't listen. Barks at everything. Yeah. You know, like I don't know. If I could train an older dog that's in a shelter. But you know they don't just have older dogs in shelters, they have younger dogs as well. I guess that's you true. just gotta go and scope the place out. I could go look. You absolutely. I don't should. have to take a dog. No, you don't have to take. They'd a dog. They pressure me though. No, they would not at and all. That's when I'm like, oh god, yes, I'll take them. And I know you have a hard time saying no. Yes. Right. Uh-huh. I know you have a hard time saying no. Uh-huh. But at the end of the day, you gotta really, really stop and think about it and tell yourself this is a lifelong, well, not a lifelong commitment, <laughs> but at least a, a ten year commitment, dude. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? This is a long commitment. Uh-huh. It's a lot. It's some money too. So, I'm sure you wouldn't let yourself be pinned to a corner like that. No. Yeah, you're right. But yeah, I feel like it'd be cool. Yeah, dude. We should we should go scope the place out. You know, that'd be cool. I'll they don't go have you. this. They don't have this up in shelter anymore. Well, we'll go to another local one. There's like 20 fucking towns around us. That's they each have like an animal shelter. Um. But yeah, also. It's not for my father. This is for you. I'm trying to figure out something to do today. Is this a petition? No. This is just me uh, just talking. So, usually, like, when me and my girlfriend hang out, it's just like, oh, we'll just go hang out here. And that's it. And we'll come back and just, like, watch TikTok all fucking night. Okay. I told her, I was like, I want to fucking do something more. I was like, yeah, we, you know, we go on our walks and we do this. But it's like, I want to do a little more. So, I'm trying to figure out what to do. Okay, that's a great idea. I was thinking of there's a place in Orange County called Camelot Castle. Never been, never heard. I've drove by it once. What it got? It's like a uh, boomers. Oh, okay. But it's actually like popping, you know. Yeah, yeah. What arcade do you go to? Ah, uh, Big Owls or. Are they open right now? Yeah, they're open Sundays. But like right now, are they open? They're open right now. Do you think that'd be fun? How much money are you oh, usually yeah, put on a card? I'd say like 40 bucks is pretty solid. How long are you there for? Like an hour. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. 
Uh, I was thinking mini golf. No, dude, but it's like, see, but the thing is, you, it, I feel like that's the perfect time because yes. after that, you just start playing the games and you just, you're not even putting effort into it because you're like, ah, I'm just bored of it now. And then that, uh, with, with the $40, you, you know, you've been there an hour, you've been there like, who knows, maybe an hour, hour 15. Uh-huh. And then at that point, you're just kind of like, all right, dude, let's move on to the next thing. You yeah. feel good. You're yes, done. Sir. That is a finish line. See, so th- this this was my this was my plan of attack. I was gonna go mini golf, and then I was like, maybe we can go get some ice cream after. I don't know, something cheap. Try to keep it super cheap. And that's my goal for today. You want to hike, maybe. Fun and cheap. Go on a hike, maybe. So you think an arcade then hike? Arcade then walk. A walk wouldn't be bad. Just, just fucking free. Uh-huh. You know. <laughs> the dinner situation that's that's see that's the tough one dinner <laughs> my asshole that ass <laughs> after after my Vince's spaghetti bug <laughs> and, and the walk <laughs> oh yeah give me that granola I, trail uh, mix baby because it never worked it never worked out but there was like this uh, this place I wanted to take her it's in West Covina it's uh it's like beer on tap or something I forgot what the name I have it written down but it's like they have alcohol infused ice cream and like local beer. And, and local they, beer. And they kind of pair it together. Like, uh-huh. oh, you eat this ice cream, you drink this beer. I think she'd love it. Really? Yeah. Alcohol infused beer. Uh, alcohol infused ice cream. Ice cream. How is that, huh? I would wonder. It's pretty good. I feel like she would like that shit. So maybe, maybe we go to Big Al's arcade. Come back, relax, walk around, enjoy enjoy life a little, then eat here something, make something. I got a lot of food. I just bought Real cheese. Food. That's fire. Let's go go to here. the store, get, get some, some simple ingredients for a grilled cheese or a turkey melt, and make it. See, my problem is I I did that one day. I think I think I gave you some grilled cheese. Yeah. Did you ever have any grilled cheese for me? No. Okay. I went to the store. And I was like, I want a grilled cheese, and I want to make it my way. I got heirloom tomatoes. I got bacon and two cheeses and sourdough bread. And I was like, I'm going to make the fucking best goddamn grilled cheese. And it looked good, but the bread was so soggy, I couldn't figure out how to not make the bread soggy. Couldn't figure it out. And the sandwich just, like, wasn't good that way. It was just soggy. I didn't like it. I got I to gotta perfect it. Cause there's some good ass grilled cheeses out there. My mom makes some dank grilled cheeses. I I I I couldn't figure out how to make the bread not not soggy. I couldn't figure it out. But you buttered the pan. Yeah. I but I buttered the bread. I think Over, that was my problem. Maybe overly buttered the pan. So what I did was is that I but oh I used mayo because I heard mayo is way better on a grilled cheese. Oh, is it? Yeah. So I mayoed the whole fucking bread. And then I just put it in there. I think I might have over mayoed it. Sounds so good. Over mayoed. Because I heard it cooks into the bread better. Over mayo? Give me the over mayo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe I'll Greek yogurt it. Whoa, you took it to that, <laughs> you took it to that brother. Whoa. Okay, well, thanks for the help. Let's get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Schizophrenia. Um, happy, happy vids. Oh, I have a video for you. There you go. That's, that's, that was the last thing I, I wanted to bring up for today. I just, uh, I want to know what it takes to get to this level. Let's see, let's see. Is there volume? Is there volume? Yes. Okay. I just want to know what it takes to get to a, a level like this. I had shake your big Holy. Bro is definitely on planet fucking Jupiter. <laughs> Bro is cooked. Bro is cooked. Bro is cooked. <laughs> Am I on planet Jupiter? Yes. Yes, you are, sir. I want to be on Bro's level. Bro, how do you get there? <laughs> but that is the same guy, I think, is the one that, um, do we got flow? He turns Holy the he shit. Turns it. Yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. We got flow. Yeah, dog. That's him. You seen that guy? Oh, fuck. No wonder he's so, like, retarded half of the time. Have you seen him? Yeah. But he has millions of likes and views. Yeah, because those are cool. He's like, oh, do we got flow? And he twists the faucet. Why does he do that, though? Well, like, why? Content. Just wondering. Just because. Just because. Yeah. 
Bro, think about it. That's like one of the most random things you can ever think of. That's a homeless plug right there. That's a homeless plug right there. Hey, you need some water? Hey, homeboy got you with the plug. He's going to fill you up with your, uh, with your public water for free. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's a, he's a public servant for the, for the people. For the people. Yeah, but it's... Uh, what does it take to get on Jupiter? Like, what do you think he had to do to get to Jupiter? To get to Jupiter, some DMT could send you to Jupiter for sure. Yeah, but that's not DMT. That guy is faded. That guy's hella faded. I don't know about what kind of THC products would have to send you to, to, to Jupiter. It looked like he cried for like 19 hours. That's how red his eyes are. You ever cried for 19 hours straight? No. But that's that's what it looks like. Your eyelids hurt. It, it's it's, fuck, dude. Yeah, your eyelids, your eyelids hurt when you. What do you think it would take for me to get to that level? Because I'm pretty lightweight. <laughs> I think um, four stizzy, four stizzy blinkers, four blinkies. <laughs> I think I just get that big old the, that you know that big old vacuum thing they do. <laughs> oh yeah, fucking whistle. I just blow it in your face. Yeah, you'd probably you'd probably knock out with it something like that. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be fun, or I'd just give you a big buzz ball to drink and chug in one go. Idiot. You'd probably go out that way too. Fucking retard. That was balls, by the way. I would have never done that. I Props. Throw, yeah, I throw a pellet good after. Yeah, that. But that feels terrible. It, it, throwing well, up like that, dude. Throwing up like that feels like your soul is being sucked out of you. See, I've never had a throw up where it like hurts like that. No. No. It just feels like your your stomach's being hollowed. Out. Yeah, it's literally being hollowed out. Obviously. Like, I like obviously there's like 17 videos of me throwing up on the internet. I just can't breathe. I'm like, <gasps> and then after it's gone, but I know people feel like their fucking insides like, oh, it's like hurting. It's like you're getting exercised. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Extra exercise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of this young boy, demon. Power of grace compels you. Yeah. Fucking, uh, Literally, that's yeah, that's what it feels on. like. Yeah, I've never felt that, and I hope I don't feel that. I hope you don't either, dude. But when I drink that buzz ball, totally worth it. I think you gave me $80. Was it something like that? Did you pay me for that? I think I did. I did. You're right. I did. I that, was, that, that was, was one of those situations where it was one of those things. I have whatever I have in my wallet. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, jeez. Whatever's in my wallet, I'll give you Take right now. Leave it. But you can't. Oh, dude. Oh, but you, but you dude. can't oh, fucking PTSD. Know. How good? How okay? How when I looked good, at dust. That was how, terrible. How good are those odds when you, if if a stranger were to come up to you and ask you that, whatever I have in my wallet, if you do said thing. Okay, it just depends on what it is. G- give me a scenario here. And I don't know okay. you have a scenario. Okay. I'm walking on the street. Okay, you're walking you're walking out in the street, and then a bald man walks up to you. Hey, kiss me on the forehead. I'll give you whatever cash I have in my wallet. That's easy, Claps. I need something harder. You would do it. I'd fucking make out with his forehead for five bucks. But what if he had nothing in his wallet? But that's what I'm saying. What, what are the odds here? All right. Okay. What are the odds so of them having head, good cash in my head, and no cash? I'm going off the honor system that he has. Say it's something like... At least a little something. Hey, dude, I got this fucking shot of uh, of ginger and fucking... No. <laughs> some. Hey, I got a shot of tuna water. I'll give you everything in my wallet right now. I would go off my honor system. Like, he's got at least 20 bucks in there. For a shot of tuna juice? At least 20, 20 bucks? bucks? You're willing to do that? 20 bucks, I do it. And there's something where um, I do a similar thing at work, uh-huh. right? You're terrible. <laughs> With Ricky. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, so there's this little hole. There's this little hole that just compiles gunk and water and uh-huh. all this shit. Oh, dude, no, no, no. And then, and then I told, I told, uh, I told him, hey, man, you go ahead and take a good, uh, take a good swig of that, because he had collected it in a cup. And like he had cut a water bottle, collected some of the cup. Can't do that. I told him, take a good swig of that. I'll give you my whole check. You know, take a good swig of that. I'll give you my whole check. That's it. Did he do it? Then he was like, no, fuck no, I'm not doing that. Dude, because uh, there was this video of this girl falling, right? And she was like going down the stairs. She tripped over the dog, and fell into this pool full of like nasty shit water. And she died from a brain, uh, a brain-eating bacteria. Wow, parasite. Yeah. Wow. So, like, definitely don't do that Dude, shit. Dude, that shit, just imagine. Ooh. Just imagine. Because think about it. Think about it. These floors, they've got two porta-potties sitting on them, right? And these porta-potties, they have, like, a, a, 
they have a, a drain pan sitting below yeah, them uh-huh. to collect anything coming out of them. Uh-huh. Right? So when it rains, these things fucking get flooded. They start going out and all this pissy poo water, all this pissy poo gunk starts collecting in this fucking hole. You know? Oh, shit. And this hole's like fucking... Yeah. Pretty deep. Yeah, right? so definitely it's, don't want to drink that. Pretty good stuff. Definitely Just don't think drink about it. the type of parasites you'll get in your brain. You'll really feel some good shit. That'll take you to fucking Jupiter. Fuck that. That will take you to Jupiter. Ricky, right definitely. <laughs> however much money Hover, Hoser offers you, don't don't take it. I know it's for the thirty for a thirty two hour work week. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. Got your ass, boy. Nah, he didn't do it though. Luckily. Yeah, don't. I would have done it. But that's just me. No one offers me anything like that, so <laughs> fucking whatever. Like, people at, like, I remember uh, in junior high, people would offer me shit like that all the time for five bucks. It's like, hey, don't give me five bucks to eat this banana off the floor. And just, like, someone stepped on a banana. I'm like, yeah, and I'd eat it. <laughs> five bucks, dude. Five bucks hey, is man, five bucks. Five bucks? Junior five bucks high? Are, oh, yeah. Five bucks in junior high? Say you don't spray it, brother. brother. Five bucks in junior high? <laughs> Um, that is a fucking treasure, you know, and I am Captain Hook and I found the fucking magic. So, Cause treasure. I don't know about you, but every day when I get out of school, there'd be an ice cream truck. Yeah. Same, same. Those, those, those predatory ice cream trucks, you know what so they would me, do? Me and my buddy, we'd walk home every day. Predatory. predatory you know that five bucks you give me from the ice cream truck? My favorite fucking ice cream from the ice cream truck of all time. Get you that gat. Looney Tunes ice cream cup. That's my favorite ice cream from the ice cream truck. Cry babies. My, mine was a crybaby ice cream cup. i never seen it. The, it was like a green cup. It had like this. Is it sour? It was a sour. Oh, you know I love that shit. Ugh. You know I love that shit. But I, yeah. I'd get, was, I'd get a Looney Tunes cup and get him a Choco Taco. It was one of those shave ice cups. Dude, those Choco Tacos are amazing. The, you know uh, Cold Stone's bringing them back? Those are my brother's. The one that's right here in Oakland? Those are my brother's favorites. Wait, Cold Stone? Uh-huh. So you know the Chipotle that's right there? Uh-huh. The one that, that we go to? Yes. There's a, there's, a, there's a Cold Stone right there and they're bringing the Choco Taco. Really? Yeah. It's not the original. It's not it's the same better. thing. Oh, I uh, I went there and I tried their Lucky Charms ice cream like two weeks ago. Ass. Don't get it. It's ass. I got I sampled it. Luckily. See, and I'm staying away from that already as it is just Good. off the name alone. Oh, I know. I know that you like fucking cereal. Lucky Charms ice cream? No, thank you. Ass. I'm not a Lucky Charms fan. That shit was fucking terrible. I hate cereal, so I don't know if that's what it was because someone posted it on Twitter and they're like, "Oh, this is a ten out of ten. Must try." So I was like, I'm gonna try it. Cereal's awesome. Cereal's I a hate fucking cereal. banger. That uh, that shit. I think it's the milk. You know what? Cereal is a. It's a fucking banger. That's all I gotta say about it. I experienced my first temper tantrum at the store with the baby. That was that was rough. Really? Never happened before. Wow. So. How to go down? Went to Sam's Club, right? And. At the Sam's Club. Yeah. Luckily, I'd already paid. But I told her, I was like, do you want a hot dog or you want pizza? And she said hot dog. She said hot dog. I was like, are you sure you want a hot dog? So we shared a hot dog. And then she says, oh, I want pizza instead. She didn't finish a hot dog. And I was like, no. I was like, you, you said you wanted a freaking, you said you wanted a hot dog. I asked you. No, I want pizza. And I was like, no, we just, like, you said you were done. I don't know. I want the pizza. And I was like, fuck. Fuck. And I was like, so then I go and I look at the line. The line was massive. And I was like, baby, we're, we can't get it. I'm sorry. She's like, no, but I want pizza. I didn't want the hot dog. I didn't like it. And I was like, fuck. And I was like, okay, let's go. So I grabbed the cart and I just start walking out. Holy, oh, and she was throwing a fit. She pulled, she pulled the whole ass baby Karen on you. Dude, she was fucking pulling the cart back and shit. Oh, man. I had to walk on her screen crying all the way out to the parking lot. It was oh, bad. Oh, man. Yeah. I and mean, then guess what happened when we got in the car? Mimi's. Totally forgot about it when she woke up. Totally fucking forgot about it. I was like, you threw this whole fit just to go to sleep? Are you kidding me? Yeah. At least at least throw the fit the whole way home. You think it's what she needed to oh, uh, yeah. to settle down? Yeah, because that day I woke her up extra early to go to Sam's Club. I woke her up early. So that was uh that was hard. You know, something with kids too. You think they do that? Because they want it. They think they don't want to get it. No, do you think they do that as a as a as a response to like oh, I didn't get enough sleep, so here's a yes. big fuck you. 100%. Like you just said about the freaking the 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 chicken sliders. She's hangry. Wow. She's in a bad mood. I woke her up early, took her to the store. 
Because she didn't get what she wanted. It's because she didn't like the hot dog. Really? She actually didn't like it? But she'd had it before, no? Not that one. Oh, no? Costco. Hey, hey. Sam's Club hot dog is fire, dude. I don't know what she's talking about. She didn't like it. That shit's good. I liked it. That shit slaps. Banger. So, Again, banger. Yeah, it's because th- there was a person next to us eating pizza, and I think she said, ooh, that actually looks good. Yeah, hell yeah. So she wanted the pizza, and I just I couldn't do it, dude. I couldn't get myself to wait in that line again <laughs> to get her a fucking piece of pizza. But I was like, you just... She ate most of the half of the hot dog. She ate half of the half, so she ate a quarter. And I was like, that's a fucking big hot dog. You ate a quarter pound of hot yeah, dog. Yeah, it's a pretty good size for her, too. Yeah, so I was like, I was like, you don't need it. In my head, I was like, you don't need it. Definitely not. And she fell asleep, so she didn't need it. Oh, man. Ooh, that was bad. It was embarrassing had a that, little bit. That make, made, so it's a little embarrassing. A little bit. Mad. But I just, I just told her, no, not mad. I was just like, come on, baby, let's go, let's go. I was like, we're not getting it, we're not getting it. Yeah. A little tough. First one ever, huh? First one. Yeah. Over a goddamn piece of pizza. I should have just got the pizza anyways. I don't know. Because pizza is better than hot dogs in general. Why would I? Why would I do that to myself? Pete, well, hot dogs, bankers. I like should have just saying. got both. I mean, what is it like? Five bucks. For everything, uh, it's like one ninety nine for a hot dog combo, and then like a slice of pizza is like one fifty. Yeah, it was like four bucks. I should have just bought it. Should have just fucking bought it and took it home. Rookie move. But yeah. Ready to go, brother? Did you hear my stomach? I did, did hear, you hear actually. That? Yes, you're right. That's crazy. You hungry? I guess I am. I don't feel hungry. Can I eat something? Uh, I fucking shit everything out. You're going to shit everything out? No, I already did. This morning. Twice. Oh, dude. Frozen grapes are dank, bro. The, the best thing ever. Frozen grapes. Why? 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 Sometimes it's like late at night. You're like, fuck, I just want a snack. But snacks are unhealthy, right? Snacks? Uh-huh. Snacks are unhealthy. Okay. Look, look at the serving size of that. Hey, 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 hey. It's 140 calories for a serving. There's, oh, like, there's like nine servings in there. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Snacks are not unhealthy. Okay, so this is what's keeping me alive. I had and have not had anything to for eat today. For one cup of grapes, it's 90 calories, right? Fuck. And I just want to eat something. Trail mix, brother. So last night, well, not last night, but like I froze like 10 bags, 10 cups of grapes. In sandwich bags Separate mm-hmm. I just reach in there And I grab it And it takes forever To eat them Cause they're fucking cold dude and you gotta take a bite It's like you're biting Into ice cream You know It kinda hurts your teeth Sometimes you bite Straight into ice cream Really So you gotta just eat it slow So you eat half at a time You're eating half a grape A bite And it, it's They taste great still They taste even better You know sometimes The grapes like Oh it's a little mushy I didn't like that Ooh, Yeah This grape is a little yeah, mushy Nope right. you don't get that All of them are firm Firm Nice and tight. They're dank. Best shit ever. I had that shit last night. Tits. But you don't always want something cold, though. That's a thing. Uh, usually, like, my crave. You get what I'm saying? My crave is almost always ice cream. Really? And it's bad. My crave? I crave a lot like a uh, 30-year-old pregnant woman. It's all off the rails. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I was like, I was like, you crave thirty year old pregnant woman. That's that's your idea. <laughs> but you're talking about their diet. <laughs> hey, yo. Pause. <laughs> you're craving their diet, like fucking pickles and peanut butter type shit. No, that's a little, no. Fuck no. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's absolutely disgusting. Um, Tuna and ketchup. No, it's not that bad. It's just I I crave everything. I go from bacon to candy to chocolate. Uh-huh. To, I just want all food, everything. You shouldn't try to get center cut bacon. That's the healthiest bacon. Is it? Mm-hmm. Why is that? I don't know why. But all like those like, you know, social influencers are always like, oh yeah, get the center cut bacon. It's the best. Really? It's the best for you. I'm not sure why though. I haven't looked that far into it. Center cut bacon, huh? For sure. It's still bacon. Same flavor. Something about it being in the center is better for you, I guess. We should look it up. Everything's related to the, to, to the earth. The core of the Earth. What's in the I've core of the Earth? I've been seeing this thing that the, the Earth's uh, frequencies have been have changed over the past 40 years. Yeah, you know what? And I just want to say, and I experienced one of those frequencies on the last episode of the podcast. Yeah. That frequency change, I have a, uh, a seventh sense. 
<laughs> that frequency change was a um, a a mind opening experience. larger pull in the Earth's rotation. Hey brother, I got some earplugs for you too. By the way, just so you don't have to keep using the old, the ones that you bought. Oh, dude, those are great. I know, but it's the same kind. I'm just saying, I got extra ones for you. Oh, sweet. Thanks, man. Yeah. Awesome. Just please remember to grab them because I have them in the drawer. Cool. Heck yeah. Yeah. You got it. Um. No, but it's a a frequency change. And then the solar eclipse shit has been like crazy. And so I hear that the solar eclipse it's actually uh, gonna cross at one or, point uh-huh. from what from where a previous solar eclipse had passed. Uh-huh. That's crazy. I've been seeing all this Bible stuff about it. It's kind of scary. You too, huh? Yeah, the Salem thing, and the Nia passes through seven cities. Seven Salem's. I don't know. And the word Salem means something in the Bible, I guess. That's what they said. And then there's another city like Naz. It's not Nazareth, but that's what it kind of sounds like. Niv- Nithapam or something like that. And it says it passes through seven of those, but it only passes through two. Okay. Well, I don't know. But right now, as we speak, as we uh, speak, someone is currently driving or even at the point of where the solar you eclipse see how is crossed. those Airbnbs are? Over there? Crazy. No, how much? Oh, man, they hike up the price thousands Those of people dollars. People are making dick loads, huh? Dick loads. Dick loads? Yeah, because it's like, oh, I want to see it. So, like, on that, that path, it showed, like, Airbnb posted it. Like, oh, this is the Airbnb for this month. And it's, like, bright orange, that whole path. And everywhere else is, like, empty. Orange, 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 like, little little dots. And then right there, fucking thick orange line. Like, someone wrote a highlighter on it. <laughs> thousands. Thousands of dollars for wow. it. Wow. Yeah. And they'll charge it. And they're gonna and people are gonna pay it. And think about like if you knew about the solar eclipse like last year, like, hey, there's gonna be a solar eclipse this time, and they book it. And it's like, oh, I only paid two hundred dollars for this. Oh, but I'll year. sell it to you. Uh, uh, price gouging be... tickets is fucking retarded too. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Pieces of shit. I was also thinking about going to a Ducks game today. Did those tickets get out price gouged? No, they're just like forty bucks for some shitty seats. I was like, I don't think that's worth it for me. You know, speaking of price gouging too, another real big thing that came up. Was the knock loose show? Yeah, that's what I'm talking the about. Hour. Pieces of shit, six hundred dollars for a ticket. Fuck you. You know what though? But in in uh, the videos that I saw, I saw a lot of familiar faces. Yes, sir. You know. But they were in the front. And and not only that, the the booker of the show themselves said that if only five percent of the tickets were, were bought. Price, yeah. Uh huh. You know. So that's great. That's awesome. That the avoiding bots thing is good, but the thing is, you're gonna get like regular hardcore goers uh-huh. that are gonna buy the ticket, not go to the show and resell it because they know it's gonna be a crazy big, big price. There's a, there's two tweets I want to bring up. There's one where the guy said, "I'd rather have the TikTok kids here that are super stoked to see the show versus." All the people, all the people on Instagram that are bitching about Knock Loose, uh, but still come to the show, that they don't like Knock Loose. People like hate on Knock Loose for no reason. I don't hate on them. Yeah, no. They're not my favorite, but I don't hate on them. I was like, dude, they made it big. Like, how, like just be happy for them. Yeah, but that's exactly why they get hated on because they're big. You know? I know, like, I know. Like personally, I love them. They're sick. They're they're one. Yeah, of, they're not my favorite, but I they're good. Yeah, they're one. They're one of the first bands I started listening to when I really got, when I really got into. Uh, music and stuff like that mm-hmm. and um, they're sick I love them but I'm extremely glad that they've made it to the heights that they're at oh yeah and I just really like how they they stepped down I'm not saying that the midnight hour is it's bad def- or anything yeah, it's, but it's, it's, it's definitely a step down it, it's for sure a step down I'm not trying to say it to degrade it I, it's an awesome place right but I like how they stepped down and did that for that place. Well, I was telling, uh, I was telling uh, my girl that I was like, yeah, the show I'm going to on, that went on Tuesday, I was like, it's kind of like the mecca of hardcore. Not like the mecca, but it's like a big, it's big in hardcore. The Midnight Hour? Yeah. It's like a big, you know, it's a big thing to play there. A lot of big shows pop there. Yeah. A lot of bands play there. Like A lot of legendary bands play there, you know? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. So I feel like when I went there, I was like, this is cool. Like, I get to experience this at least once. It's it's a, it's a drive out there. It is a hell of a drive out there, you know. So, but I'm more than willing to go out there for a fucking bang show. show you yeah. Know? So you know, went to support the homies. Left and I was like, you know, that was cool. I definitely go again. 
got to experience something like original, in uh-huh. my opinion. I don't know. I just feel like big bands play there. And it's in a good area. It is in a good area, actually. That area is actually pretty, really nice. You know, I think with that little downtown area they have, it's a solid, chill area, you know? Yeah. You ready to go, brother? I am ready to go. Brother, Tuesday, special teams. Special teams, special plays, special players. Brother. Let's hit it, brother. All right, brother. You can follow me on uh, Instagram, brother, at uh, Big Dill, <laughs> 2 gs brother. And Twitter, the same thing, underscore in between. Uh, Daddy's Ender Pod on all fucking platforms. Find us. Like us. Eat my ass or something. I don't know. Stick a finger up there. Holder. Daddy's Ender Pod on all fucking platforms. <laughs> Email us. Follow us. Stick a finger up my ass. I don't fucking care. <laughs> but you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's Nick Puppy with two E's. <laughs> and this has been episode 105 of Daddy's Dungeon. Episode 105 of Daddy's Dungeon. Daddy's Dungeon. 105 episode. <laughs> Brother. Peace.